good morning guys a happy tuesday for me happy i think this is coming out on a sunday for you it's a happy sunday it has literally just turned 7 30 which is not good news because i wanted to be working out by 7 30 on a tuesday morning i thought we could do a little what i eat in a day aiden has gone to work and my eyes are still blurry from waking up i also want to go on a walk this morning hence why i want to start working out now so i'm gonna get changed gonna put on some clothes i don't know if i want to do a pilates workout or a weights workout i mean i know that i could do a really quick weights workout but i did just get a reformer here it is and i kind of want to use it i used it very briefly yesterday and i kind of want to do another workout with it i actually got it from facebook marketplace for 140 pounds which is such a bargain i think these are normally like nearly 800 pounds do i recommend that everyone go out and get a reformer probably not there is a reason why the classes are so expensive i mean the reformers that they use in classes are like so much better Obviously you get to have an instructor, but I am trained to be a Pilates instructor. So that's kind of why I got one. But I think I'm gonna do a Pilates workout because that seems fun. I think we'll do arms today, which is definitely not my favorite thing to train, but I did a little bit of legs yesterday. So let's, let's go get it done. The only issue we're gonna have is I don't actually know where to put the machine. I don't know if it's gonna fit here. It's very long, but the thing is, I don't wanna have to move it because it's kind of heavy back over there so i'm gonna try and get it out here we're gonna we'll have to just see if it works kind of taking over aiden's side right now i mean why does he need a ball i'm not too sure oh i got a bit scared but it's just gonna collapse there you go okay oh my gosh there is enough for it the annoying thing is is i have to take out all of these holes whenever i fold it away because otherwise they just kind of stick out this is literally going to be like a 10 minute very quick pilates workout here she is all set up definitely long but i think we could work it here i might need to move those baskets just to move it over a little bit so the curtain doesn't annoy me but it's actually really good it's from a company called aero pilates the girl who had it before her cat like scratched it but honestly for 140 pound when classes are like 30 pound i did not mind and then instead of actual springs it's more like bungee cords i do need to tighten these because they're not that strong yet i don't know where i can put you guys for a time lapse to be honest though the time lapse i'm probably gonna look very very funny in just sliding up and down this thing in my bedroom <laughs> My short little Pilates workout has been done. I'm not sure how that time lapse was looking for you guys. Hopefully it wasn't too embarrassing on my behalf, but I just feel like a Pilates reformer workout. It just looks funny anyway, but I'm now gonna go out on my walk. I got out my brother. So we're gonna go out on a walk now because we both start work at nine. We've got about an hour before we are starting and the walk's only like 40 minutes. So I always like to get back home before work starts because I like to make myself a coffee and just get myself set up because I actually like to start at nine. And I like to say my hellos and everything before that. So I do need to get a little bit of a move on. Not my battery dying whilst I'm trying to talk to you guys, but I need to contact my doctors. And the way my doctors work is a little bit strange. You have to like fill out a form online. You can't actually call them for appointments. And they've just switched over their forms. And I tried to do it yesterday at like 10 a.m. And they were like, sorry, all the forms for the day have been filled out. Try again tomorrow at eight. And I'm like, it's a form like i can kind of understand like people calling up i'm like it's literally a form so i've just gotten through on the form so i need to fill that out probably shouldn't be talking because i need to make sure that i get this form in and i need to go out for a walk so i'm gonna probably do the form whilst i'm walking I need to grab a drink this is my otd i'm gonna tie my hair up because it's gonna go crazy in the wind and let's go for a walk <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversation The walk has been had and I've got 10 minutes before I am starting work which is perfect I have made myself 
my coffee. I'm actually considering getting out our coffee machine that we bought for when we move out and having the coffees from there. Mm, that is a good coffee this morning. But we had 10 minutes before we start work and I just looked in the mirror and seen how horrendous I'm looking. So I don't know if I should do makeup now because I need to film after work anyway. And I'm vlogging today, so I feel like I should probably put on some makeup. Or if I should tidy up the mess behind me that I've made and put away the reformer. I honestly think I could probably do both. Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff on my sock, like mud and, oh my gosh, there's like, okay, I just, I just touched my dirty shoe and why I even bought muddy shoes upstairs is actually beyond me. I'm going to vote for, we are going to actually wash the shoes and then put on a little bit of makeup. Oh. Everywhere. It's time for my breakfast. It is it's quite late. It's 10 37, which is not good. It is time for my breakfast. You guys know the drill by now. I'm the same breakfast every day kind of gal. So we've got my white chocolate and raspberry muffins and half a protein pudding. Mm hmm. They just always taste so good. I don't know if they're slightly underbaked, but I honestly could not be bothered to make them on Sundays. I was like, you know what? That's as good as we're going to get. They taste great either way. Definitely underbaked, but. Oh well. I'm having one of those mornings where time is literally going so slowly, which to be honest, I would honestly rather have a day that feels really long than a day that feels really, really short. But I'm just thinking about what I'm going to be having for, ow, my elbow. <laughs> for lunch because it's just about to turn 12 and you guys know lunch is like my worst meal of the day to be planning what to eat because I just never know what I feel like having however the other day I spoke about this in one of my most recent vlogs I got the pinch of nom air fryer cookbook because it looked like it had really good recipes I've already gone through and like tagged everything I'm not sure if I'm gonna make something like this for lunch though because I mean, I just won't have any of the ingredients right now, but it could be an idea, like making one of these potentially, chicken and sweet corn pizza calzone for lunch and like actually having a meal for lunch because right now I only have, oh, fish and chip fish cakes. Like they seem cool and fun and yummy because right now I just have like a ham wrap and honestly is that not just like the most boring thing you've ever heard of in your life or there are these like breakfast bakes that are like baked beans bacon eggs and beans that I've already said um did have that basically for <gasps> look at this chocolate brownie loaf I need to make that however I think what I'm actually gonna make or bake is this orange and lemon cake look at that photo it looks so good but yeah so no, i might have a little look through here <gasps> yum like that looks that's basically a wrap sorry you actually can't even see but it's just more interesting and obviously more nutritious and yummy and you could defo like meal prep that like you could like meal prep the chicken i feel like i need to start being a little bit more creative with my lunches although me and ada made these gochujang nuggets the other day mm. super duper tasty very spicy but so yummy. Right, we're gonna have to get our thinking brains on because I'm not making another ham wrap in a while in a day. We need to be more creative. And this is your sign, if you're just eating boring foods, let's get creative together. We're gonna make something nice for lunch. Hopefully we've got ingredients to make something nice. I've decided for lunch, we're gonna have Atelier Classic. I haven't had one of these in so long. So we're gonna have half a BT sticky rice, two fish, fish fingers, said that bit funny and some cucumber soy sauce mayo and have a fish finger rice bowl which i'm very much looking forward to because as i said literally haven't had one of these i want to say in like a year could be dramatic but it feels like it's been that long <laughs> Here is my absolute masterpiece that I'm gonna eat whilst I'm working. Literally, all it is is sticky rice, soy sauce. Oh, I meant to put hot sauce on it as well. Mm, I forgot and I can't be able to go back downstairs. But we've also got fish fingers, cucumber, sesame seeds. Mix it all together. I know it's disgusting, but it honestly tastes so good. I'm hoping it's gonna be all right about the hot sauce. I'm sure it will be. I'm honestly just way too lazy to go back down. Time for my post lunch crisp Pepsi Max. Should we do some ASMR? Yeah, I don't want to break a nail. 
lovely i feel like most people have like a coffee when they're working from home in the afternoon but i'm just here for the pepsi max i'm also a little bit chilly and i think i might get out my heated blanket honestly if you were to ask me the biggest pro about working from home it would be i can put on my heated blanket and be cozy and warm whilst doing all of my work it's that really awkward time between lunch and dinner where i'm hungry but it's literally 4 20 like i'm not gonna have a snack now because i literally finish work at five and i always just make dinner straight away and if i don't have a snack now that means i can have an even bigger dinner smart thinking i think so i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna make a cup of tea which i feel like is not you know it's not a good meal choice it's not a good snack choice but i feel like it will do the job until i can start to make dinner and we're gonna have hot dogs for dinner i'm so excited for them i just thought maybe i should do some like onions like cook some onions okay let's go make a tea for now as mentioned earlier we are having hot dogs for dinner the best brioche buns are always from Lidl. They're Lidl Deluxe, hot dog buns, burger buns. They are just the best ones. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to, to be fair, I feel like this pepper looks like it's pretty done. I'm going to make some roasted veggies for the side. I was going to use a courgette, but I'm going to need it for... Mm, no, I'm going to use it because we can always get another one. So we're going to do a courgette two peppers we have some little tomatoes and then i'm also going to do some potatoes as well for our side we've got half a red onion <laughs> eat this now here is the absolute monstrosity of my dinner it honestly is not looking the best but we've got a hot dog an extra sausage and then obviously all the veggies and it is a pretty loaded hot dog so it may not look good but i'm hoping I mean, it should taste good, let's be honest. And actually, if you wanna see something else worse, this is Aiden's dinner, he's got two hot dogs. We also do have two extra sausages. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but um, yeah, Aiden's dinner is looking a little bit worse for wear, but I'm gonna let him do all of his sauces and stuff when he comes downstairs, because I feel like a hot dog is very particular. How was your dinner? Good. How's yours? Yeah, it's good, thanks. Good. We're having a domestic, because Aiden keeps leaving his dirty, smelly, work clothes on the floor but it is now time for dessert i have a cup of tea again my second one of the day and i got a little these are like the biscuits that i normally have the milk chocolate digestive biscuits this is the biscuit bar i'm honestly really enjoying this right now i'm in one of those moods where i just want to eat everything like i'm thinking to myself what can i have after this it's not very health as well for me but it is that time of the month so i'm like you should have seen me last night. I basically ate a whole share bar of chocolate and like half a bag of Magic Stars whilst watching a documentary. These digestive biscuits are just so good from M&S. But once Aiden leaves for football, I need to go work. I need to go film, which is so long. But I also kind of want to bake and I'm like, there's not enough time in my 24 hour day to do everything I want and need to do. So we're going to see how we're getting on for time in. But I really want to make that orange and lemon cake. I just don't think I'm going to have time though. Let's be honest, this was the update that everyone was expecting. I got another one. It's given penguin, but minus the chocolate. Anyway, TTYL. I have come to the conclusion that it may be slightly optimistic of me to bake this evening it is currently it's 10 to 7 and i feel like if i try to bake this evening to try getting the content for you guys i'm just going to end up overwhelming myself because i do need to film for this brand deal so i'm honestly just gonna call it quits here today i think i'm not gonna eat anything else also completely forgot about my tea and it's now gone cold so gonna have to go pop that in the microwave to heat it up but i hope you all did enjoy coming along on this what i eat in a day i feel like today has been a very realistic day a very mediocre day however tomorrow we're actually going out for dinner because it is our 
five year anniversary, which honestly I cannot believe. We didn't do like a proper food shop this week because we had one meal out that doesn't make any sense, but it made sense in my brain. And yeah, I'm gonna go now. So I hope you all did enjoy it. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you very soon in a new one. Bye.